Ah, that's better. Are you someone who can read for hours at a time but needs to put on glasses or contact lenses on to see in the distance? If you are, then there's a very high chance you might be short-sighted or more correctly, myopic. If you're new to the channel, then welcome. My name is Antonio and I discuss anything to do with the eyes on this channel. If you want to learn a thing or two, then maybe consider subscribing. I will do my best to make that worthwhile. Another method of finding out if you're myopic is with your contact lenses. Have a look at your prescription. If it starts with a minus sign, then there's a very high chance you may be short-sighted. But why a minus sign? Simple, let's have a look at the lenses that short-sighted people wear to see in the distance. In optics, we assign the type of lenses that myopic people wear, which are concave lenses, a minus power, and so the higher your prescription in the minus direction, the more myopia you have. The power is assigned by comparing the difference in curvature between the front and back surface. Concave lenses take your vision that is optimized for short distances, and hence short-sighted, and refocuses it over into the distance, so we can do things that humans do, which is looking at things and reading a lot. Think about it. Anywhere you go, or anything that you look at, there will be text everywhere. And when doing things such as driving, looking at lecture slides, or anything that requires vision in the distance, you will need clarity and resolution to be able to see properly. Like, check out my glasses. I do not have good vision in the distance. And would you believe me if I said that I only got my first pair of glasses after my fourth year of university? I thought I could see well until I had my first pair and was just so amazed at how high definition the world was. But it makes me wonder how much enjoyable life would have been if I had clear vision at a young age. But that's beside the point. Let's take a look at this cool Optos scan that I took for my eyes the other day. I will be able to show you a visual representation of what I'm about to explain. Myopic eyes in general are too long for what the optical system of the eye allows for. Let's create a hypothetical situation where I make my eyeballs short-sighted by about two diopters. You can see that the focal point of the eyes are slightly in front of the eyes, which extends onto the retina as a blur, and therefore we'll need to take the focal point back to where the actual eyes are. And what better way to do that than to put a lens in the way that will bend the light beforehand so that by the time it reaches your eye, it will focus properly. This is exactly what glasses do for short-sighted people. So in other words, the higher your prescription, the longer your eyes are. So in this case, the size does matter. Hey, your baby girl, you want to know what's long and big? Ooh, what is it? My eyeballs. Does that mean like, your eyes are really bad? Yeah. <laughs> Another way of finding out whether you're myopic or not is by taking a book, covering one eye, and taking it further back until it starts to go blurry. Let's say for example it went blurry at 25 centimeters. It means that we can just take the inverse of that number, which is 0.25 meters, and get a total of 4 diopters, which would make you a minus 4 in this case. If it blurred after 20 centimeters, then you would calculate it in the same way and find it to be 5 diopters. I find this calculation to be very useful when trying to communicate effectively with patients. Let's take for example if a patient was a minus 2, then I know for a fact that their distance vision might be blurry, but anything within arm's length will be clear. This is because if you take the reciprocal or the inverse of 2, it'll give us 0.5, which is 50 centimeters. And this is exactly 50 centimeters. Having a minus 2 prescription basically means that anything within this measuring tape will be clear. So let's say for example if I'm holding a book, if it's within this length, then I know it'll be clear. Let's have a look at what a minus 1 would feel like. Extending it out to 1 meter, all of a sudden I can see a whole lot more. Let's have a look at what a minus 0.5 would look like. Ugh. Never mind. Well, it's not all bad news for myopic eyes. Eyes that are within the prescription of what I call the Goldilocks zone of between minus 150 and a minus 250 will be pleased to hear that they will probably never need reading glasses to read their books or their phone. Even after the age of 45 when everyone else needs to put on reading glasses to be able to see. Because that means that their eyes are already focused for about 40 to 70 centimeters away from their eyes, which is your typical reading distance. 
This is why I get upset when patients say that they are as blind as a bat or their eyes are shockingly terrible. Because in fact, if you went up against a long-sighted eye in a reading marathon, you would honestly school them. You could literally read for hours at a time and still not get tired. So hold on a minute. If I'm short-sighted and I find my vision to be more comfortable to read without glasses, does that mean I can just take them off to read? <laughs> I don't want to give health advice over a video on the internet. So take what I say with a grain of salt. But if you are myopic and you know for a fact your prescription hasn't changed for a number of years, then it shouldn't really matter whether you wear your glasses to read or not. Just do whatever you feel is the most comfortable. One other thing that you'll notice is that short-sighted prescriptions can make your eyes look smaller than they actually are. The stronger your prescription or the further away the glasses are, the more exaggerated this will become. This is why short-sighted patients always prefer having a second option of contact lenses, which won't make their eyes look smaller. But Antonio, I read somewhere that if you just deliberately lower your prescription, then your eyesight would improve and eventually you could even restore your sight. Believe it or not, this is something that I get asked. And to that I say, well, I heard vaccines cause autism and the earth is flat. Like, why is this a thing? Who is out there spreading this false information? If anything, the literature states that the undercorrection of myopia can actually lead to the acceleration of myopia progression. So, I wouldn't be so fast in asking for a deliberately reduced prescription if I were you. So please comply with what the optometrist tells you because you don't want to be that person. The topic of myopia as a whole is such a big topic for me to cover in one video, mainly because there are different types of myopia as well, such as refractive myopia, axial myopia, pathological myopia, and even pseudomyopia. But if you want me to cover those topics in a later video, then please let me know in the comment section below. I might cover them in the future. What if I'm someone that is short-sighted? What can I do to stop my eyes getting worse? At this point, the evidence is pointing to the amount of time spent doing near work and the amount of time spent indoors. And so try to spend more time outdoors if you can. There are also other interventions such as using multifocal glasses that have shown to reduce progression by about a third, and even special contact lenses or eye drops that could reduce the progression by about a half. But each option should be carefully prescribed by an optometrist, so if you're interested, then maybe pay them a visit and see if you're eligible. The best way to correct myopia is either in the case of glasses, contact lenses, or even laser surgery. And I'll be doing a separate video on laser surgery, so if you don't want to miss that, then hit subscribe. But with that being said, I'm going to end the video here. To summarize, short-sighted eyes are good at short distances and hence the name, and glasses essentially take that vision that is up close into a further distance so that we can see things more clearly, such as speed signs, street signs, and lecture slides and whatnot. If you learned something new, or at least found something useful, then yay, thumbs up to you. If you want to thumbs up back, then that will be greatly appreciated. Thank you for watching, and I'll see you in the next video.